We have this typical network setup, two branch office using the VPN via internet to connect with our head office, central office. So those firewall, we're using 40 gate. And the one of the server, radio server, is running on Windows network policy server role, is located in the central office. So my goal is enable the radiance authentication on all 40 gate firewalls. One of the key steps is uh, to add Radiant server on FortiGate. But we are facing some challenges to connect to the Radiant server from the branch office. Let's see the key steps. So on the FortiGate interface, we have LAN interface and also we have a VPN interface. So VPN is the terminal address. In this sample is 10.1.1.3. So we need to use this IP address as the Radiant client on network policy server. In network policy, we have a policy for the firewalls. So here is the setting. So this is the, sorry, not this one, this one. This one, this is a domain user group. This is a time date allow to access authenticate method okay allow for network tunnel this is a vendor specific it's called login ppt okay so this is the one of the network policy under connection request policy we do have this 40 gate MFA. So here we define all the IP address. So it's enabled. Certificate. Those two. I'm not quite sure what's the relationship between this one and network policy connection request. And another location is here. We need to define the IP address of the 40 gate. This one is a local one it's on the same subnet with the Radiant server. This one is a remote 40 gate. But one interesting thing is, is here. This one is using the tunnel, tunnel IP instead of the 40 gate line IP. We can take a look. So this is my remote. See, this is a, the 40 gate line IP, 30 to 50. But if you look at the interface, you can see here, this is the tunnel IP. This is the tunnel IP. So we use this tunnel IP as the Radiant client IP. So this is kind of the one of the key fact. Okay. So the next step on 40 gate is in the users in diff users Radiant server. Here we define the Radiant server. This is the IP. We specify the Radiant server and the shared secret. Shared secret is defined here. Here, shared secret defined here on the client definition. And then we can test. After test, it will say success. Okay. After that, you need to define the user group. User group is here. So 
So user group is a firewall. Like if you create a new group, this one should be firewall and give a name. And here you add remote group. Remote group you choose the radiant server specify. There's a key here. Key. Login. So you are wondering where is login from? If you go back to the network policy on a 40 gate IT, look at here. Vendor specific is called login. So that one defined in here, this group. So then I define this group. Okay. So after that, you need to add this group to administrators. So you need to add a new administrator. I already added. Add a new administrator and give a name. Then you choose on a remote group. Remote group. Then specify the profile remote group. This is the remote group we just created. Then hit OK. So then you're all good after that.